Hello, Soapers, and welcome once again to your Daily Soap. Today, we're looking at Matthew chapter 15. What verse or verses stood out for you today as you read? For me, it was verse 25, which says, But the Canaanite woman came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, help me. My oh, my observation is, this woman has come to Jesus to ask him to help her daughter who is possessed by a demon. But Jesus did not answer her. But the woman wouldn't let go of Jesus until he had blessed her. Then, by persevering in that faith through a series of difficulties that were intended by Jesus to deepen her faith, Jesus took her into a deeper relationship with him, and she was blessed with a great faith, or an even greater faith. And so my A, my application is, when I bring a specific prayer to Jesus about a specific need, and he doesn't answer, it is highly likely that he is trying to deepen my faith and align my heart with his. In those times, I need to remain persistent in my prayer. You know, there's been so many times that I have lifted up uh, prayers to God um, that I just felt weren't answered, um, that Jesus that that God, just like Jesus was with this Canaanite woman, just didn't respond. And, you know, one thing that has always occurred with me is that um, as I pray more and more, as I pray more persistently uh, about that need, uh, God begins to change my heart. He begin, begins to change my perspective. And he helps me to understand things from his perspective and not just my own. It's not that he never answers those prayers, but he changes me. And so as we pray more and more and more, seeking God's will earnestly, then he begins to change us, even though he might not answer immediately. We have to remember that God, you know, everything that he does is about his glory and our good. And those are, uh, that's a promise that we can always bank on. And so we need to remember that uh, as we continue to pray to him. And so finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, grant me the wisdom and the strength to remain persistent in prayer that I might deepen my faith and my walk with you. Amen. So this is my soap today. Would love to hear your soaps. You can use the comment section below the video. Don't forget to click like if you like today's video. If you don't like it, you don't have to click like. Uh, but that just helps us spread the word on what we're doing. I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. And I hope that you find these videos and uh, encouraging to you as you yourself read through God's word. And most importantly, I pray that you are able to slow down enough as you read each chapter that you're able to slow down enough to hear God speak to you. I know there's been a lot of things going on recently, but God's word is still living and true and it is there uh, to speak to us each and every day. And so I want to encourage you uh, to continue your walk through Matthew and all the books that will come in the near future. I'm so glad that you're a part of this SOAP community. And now as we close our time together, would you join me in a word of prayer? This pray. Lord, first and foremost, we thank you for hearing our prayers. Father, with everything that you have going on, that you're taking care of in this world, Father, when we pray, we grab your attention. And Father, you listen to us and you hear our prayers. And that is just amazing that the, the creator of the universe stops in the middle of what he's doing to hear each of our individual prayers. Father, it is amazing because Father, you are amazing. Father, I pray that we would all remain persistent in prayer, ever mindful of the fact that uh, even when it feels like you're not answering, you're still in control of the situation, but you may be trying to teach us something about ourselves, 
are about you, which will lead to a deeper faith and a deeper walk with you. So Father, let us never um, fear that you're not listening. Father, we know you always listen, but we know we are, you also do everything for your glory and our good. Father, help us to trust in that and help us to be persistent in prayer so that we might draw closer to you. And I pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. I hope you all have a great day. Go out, be light in this world. Be blessed and be safe.